great disappointment you are, Thatch. His mind's made up to stay, he says. It's a sodding. And hang all of you lot that follow this sorry bastard into obscurity. Faith in me is kind. But with Nassau done in, I feel I'm finished. I'm not of the same mind, mate. But I won't begrudge you the state of yours. You still looking for that sage fellow? Aye. Taking a prize a month back, I heard a man named Roberts was working a slave ship called the Princess. I want to see about it. The princess. Cheers, Thatch. Well, don't sit there like a barrel of wet fish. We're celebrating my retirement! <laughs> On Congress Man's breakfast! Out. Save us a few bottles, eh? Don't think so, sir. But I reckon Kenway suspects something. He don't miss much. Tell me about the beach. A fair gathering, sir. Most too drunk to stand. That will suit our purpose. Tell me about the beach. What sort of man is it? It's that, sir. At least that's what he calls himself. But he's a mad bugger, he is. Cracked as a glass teapot, sir. Details, man. Stop talking in gibberish. Well, sir, he likes his drink, for instance. Only he makes him queer. Takes the usual rum flit and fills it with half a weight of gunpowder. Well, sir, he likes his drink, for instance. Only he makes him queer. Takes the usual rum flit and fills it with half a weight of gunpowder to top it off. Did I hear you were right? He drinks gunpowder. Aye, sir. Just for show. And only last week he rounded up a score of his crew and bade us sit in the hold of his shit while he burnt off sulfur and other sickening minerals. We just sat there like it was one of a million pits of hell and nothing less ordinary. Good God! What the hell for? I'd like to test his crew as all. Well, tease out their fitness and what. Of course, it always turned out he was the fittest of the lot. I thought for a moment I'd die there. Bloody savages. Quickly, send the signal. Remember always this day. What the devil?
Damnation. The thatch has been topped. Fuck's sake. He was outnumbered. I couldn't reach him. The devil damn the man he was fierce, but his heart was divided. It's hard to let go of the life you know best. And my own idiot father liked to brag about how he meant to purchase a ship of his own. I'll get a privateering contract, Charlie. Your old dad'll be a captain. Drowned in a whiskey bottle before the everlast show. Right, Kenway. We're musing on this plan of yours. This observatory you're always going on about. How do we know it exists? We find a slave ship called the Princess. Aboard should be a man called Roberts. He can lead us to it. One of them slavers work for the Royal African Company. Find one of their ships and start asking some questions. Get the mainsails into the wind! What 
What's our course, Captain? We're looking for slave ships. Any that work for the Royal African Company. You don't mean to traffic human cargo now, do you? No, Jesus, Adam. You know me better than that. We're only after information. Looking to find where the princess goes in the spare time. The princess? The slave ship? Right. Blackbeard told me there's a good chance we'd find the sage aboard it. Captain! Ben just sunk a merchant schooner. Damn! Can't that animal stay the course we agreed to? Don't sink that slave a ship, can we? There's hundreds of innocent men aboard. I know, I know. Captain Bin, he's unloading everything he has. He'll sink it if he's not careful. We'll get closer. have a long reach. Come on, Mr. Scurvy. Scurvy, my brain. 
Guns and steel answer louder than sticks and spittle veins. Just find the captain. Captain claims the princess sails out of Kingston every few months. All right. We'll set a course. You made ash of my sails and rigging, jackanapes. You owe me a share. Oh! Oh, damn it, Vane! Oh, Charles, oh. what a surly devil you are. Don't fuck with me, Jack. Oh, but it's my mandate to fuck with you, Charles. Oh. Lads! Ah, see, oh. the boys and I had a bit of counsel while you were wasting time with this lot. And, um, well, they figured I'd be a fitter captain than you reckless dogs. I'll cut you another cut, Tracer! <laughs> this one I figure I might sell for a tenner down in Kingston. But uh, with you two grog blossoms, I can't take any chances. You regret this day, Rackham. I regret most of them already. Tie them up! Cast them off. I'll gut you, Jack Rackham! I'll open you up! I'll tear out your organs and string your bloody loot with them! Stop your goddamn howling vein! There's no bloody use! Well, well! The face of our good Kenway speaks, eh? Pray tell us, Captain, how to quit this predicament. And tell us what genius you have for sailing a boat with no sails and no rudder. Shut your gob! Now. I'll take these oysters you've ordered. You mad sap. This island's crawling with food. If only you'd care to look for it. Yeah, I am looking, louts. Found some just here. <laughs> don't! Don't come following now. Do you hear me? Don't come looking for me. Wretched fool. Come at me, and I'll cap you, bastard! 
It was your bloody imagination that landed us here, Kenway. I'll be damned if I let that mind make one more decision for me. Will you not talk to me, Vane? Are you fixed on this madness? Madness? <laughs> Nothing mad about a man fighting to survive, is there? I mean you no harm, you corker. Now let's work this out like gentlemen. Oh, God. I've got a bleeding headache on account of your jabbering. Now stay back and let me live in peace. I would if you stop filching the food I gather and the water I find. I'll stop nothing till you paid me back in blood. You was the reason we were out looking for slavers. And you was the reason Jack Rackham took my crew. I said not to follow! Jesus, you've lost your head, man! It's a fair exchange for finding these flintlocks and grenados. Listen, Vane. We can hunt with those guns. <laughs> and I mean so! And I'll be damned if I let you drag me into another. You keep this up, and I'll have to kill you, Vane. Bloody try, by all means. It's either you or me who's leaving this island alive, Welcher. Because I'm not going to sail again in a world cursed by your ugly mug. Run! 
Nancy boy, you only done half a fucking job. Fucking hell. Is this my reward for believing the best about men? For thinking that a bilge rat like you could muster up some fucking sense once in a while? Maybe Horner Gold was right. Maybe the world does need men of ambition to stop the likes of you from mucking it all up. <laughs> or maybe. You just don't have the stones to live with no regrets. <laughs> don't save me a spot in hell, Shanka. I ain't coming soon. Stealing a fishing schooner single-handed. Damn canny, Captain. As is taking back my break from this pillock. Once again, I thank you both. This Billy Huff didn't last two months with your ship before he came limping back to Nassau. Took the pardon straight away. I had to, lads. That Rogers was on to me from the first. Hold your tongue, Rackham. So what now? Still chasing your elusive fortune? Aye, and I'm close. I've heard the Sage is sailing out of Kingston on a ship called the Princess. Put your ambition to better use, Kenway. Find the Sage with us. I've no stomach for you and your mystics, Mary. I want a taste of the good life. An easy life. No one honest has an easy life, Edward. And it's aching for one that causes the most pain. All right, Rackham. Back to retirement. <laughs> <laughs> 